join with audio. Okay, guys. Uh, hello, sorry for 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 passing me some some minutes because I I was having some problem with the. I don't know if it is was due to the weather because it has been raining here a lot. But well, in this case, we have just your team for the class of today. I hope the other ones can get connected during the class because now we're going to talk about something. And in the case of tomorrow, we will have a the meter. That's the only thing that we are going to be sharing and talking about. I don't know about the platform, how you how you are, are you working on it? Yeah, I don't know in which in which section are you working on. Did you finish did you already finish the section? This is the section uh, three, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Catherine, you already completed? Okay, thank you. The other ones. Yes, I teacher. Think. Yes, okay, teacher. Marigda. Uh, what else? Diana, you say yes, right? Okay, Gabriela, you say yes, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, I see, I see. No worry. Uh, what I solo escuché Gabriel. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we don't have, we don't have a, a Gabriel in the group. Or, or we have no. it. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay well, escucho cortado. Yeah, I, I think I I think the I don't know if it is raining where 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 do you live or because here it has been raining and raining a lot. A lot. Okay. Let's go to see what we have for today. Teacher. Oh, oh Astrid, hello. And good night. Good night. Um I wanna tell something about the platform. Mm -hmm. It's very stressful because in some, well, in the whole activities, when I try to put the answer, uh, mm -hmm. for example, if I, if I'm not put a capital letter, for example, for say something, and mm -hmm. the answer take me as a bad, or if I make contractions, is bad, or if I put a uh, number mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, say in best day instead I, of instead of uh mm -hmm. in the letter is bad mm -hmm. so uh, that, ama <laughs> is very very hard yeah because I, to, I can guess today i i find out uh about some interesting but interesting fact what was the problem the majority of you were having the majority of you work on your cell phone, right? You you work with your cell phone, right? You, you don't. You do you work on the computer? Yes. Ah, okay. In this case, actress, what I'm going to tell you, and I don't know if I already shared you the the. Uh, the number of the technical support. Uh, send me a message and, and I'm going to share with you the, the, the number that, that I gave to another classmate and uh, the technical support helped her to solve, solve the problem that she was having. Because in the case with the cell phones, the software uh, doesn't match with the software of the platform. In the case if you have iPhone, you have you will have a lot of problem working with the flat with the platform if you use your your iPhone because the iPhone uh, the problem that this one has is like like the apostrophes the comma the capital letter uh, all of all of those things are problems that appear while you are you are working on the exercise but in in, in your case. Uh, send me a message and I'm going to share with you that number. Okay, Astrid? In that way we can solve that because I have heard a lot of problem about the, the, the platform. And the first uh, the first problem that I saw today in the afternoon was that one. The the problem of, with, uh, of working uh, in the platform with, with an iPhone. You never will have problem working with, with Android. The problem are with, with iPhone, but in your case, it's very different. You, you said that you are having problem even though working on the computer. 
okay? Uh, after the classes, uh, let me know and I'm going to share the, the number with you. Okay, don't worry. Anyone uh, has a, has the problem that Astrid was sharing with us? ¿Alguno, alguno de ustedes tiene el mismo problema que Astrid? In the computer? Yes, teacher, it, yes, it, teacher. It, yes, it, if you don't write the same word and period and everything like the person who who make the, the, the quiz, if you don't write the same, you don't pass the question. No, ah, okay. Re remember me that. Uh, send me the send me the message and I'm going to share you the, the, the that specific number with, with, with all of you. And uh, remember, remember to, to do that after the class, okay? Okay, don't worry about that. We, we're still having time because the time is running out on on Friday. I, I, I uh, we have uh, tomorrow and don't worry. And during the, during tomorrow's day, I think we can try to solve this problem because one problem that I solved in during the afternoon was the, the problem with the app and, and the cell phone, okay? Don't worry about that. Everything has a solution. But the dead, that one that has no solution. The, the other one, of course. <laughs> okay, let's go to see what we have for today. Okay, guys, we're going to share the screen and see what we are going to talk about. Okay, ta -da -da -da. it's going to go. Wait, guys. Oh, let's go to see. If... No, no, I'm going to move right here. Okay, pronunciation, stress and rhythm. Stress and rhythm. Okay, how, guys, what can you understand about rhythm? This word, rhythm. It's like the song, this is the rhythm of the night. You won't tell me some ribbon or some night. No, no, no. This, this is something similar. <laughs> this is very common. It's, it's, it's almost like, like it's something similar like that, but don't they? <laughs> we weren't talking about the song. Stress and it, it, it's, it's a it's rhythm, but yeah, I don't know, the, but in, in a sentence, I don't know what is it. Yeah, it might be the rhythm, might be that that you, you already mentioned the, the rhythm. It might be the rhythm, it might be how you uh, how you slowly or how faster you try to read the whole sentence. Because even in Spanish, we have people that, that, that read very slow. El día de ahora vamos. And there's some other people. El día de ahora vamos. Those might, those might apply like in English, like Halloween is a day when children go a tree. And there's some other people that say, Halloween is a day when children. The, that might apply with the reading. It is like the, the sequence in which, you are, in which you are reading. And the stress is the force that you put to certain words in order like uh, to emphasize or giving the 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 force of the voice uh, if, be, because what gives you the force in, in the force pronunciation in, in Spanish in Spanish give, give it the tilde la tilde te da la fuerza de, de, de entonación but in English the words we have the words at the moment to pronounce it we can hear that in that word uh, some words are the one that has more stress like in the case that we have here when women get married in japan japan if you hear the sound is like a little bit stronger that is how we can understand how we can hear the stress in english in spanish how we can hear you or how how can we notice we notice by the by the tilde if a word has a tilde, that means that the stress of the word. Don't go and tell me my tilde. No, no, that's another different thing. We're talking about the tilde. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go to see and read it. When women get married in Japan, they you just if you hear usually wear kimonos. Kimonos. After the wedding ceremony, you hear ceremony, they change into Western clothes. Western clothes. That's a completely different. Oh, what well, we have? Oh, this, uh... okay. Wait there. Okay, sorry guys. Mm. But I have to do. I have to be doing a lot of things at the same time. <laughs> okay, you see the stress we have it right here. But this still, uh, uh, this still the the one that we have here. It is not that the English has it. No, this the here the the one that that made the 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 book just put it as a way in which you can see clearly where the stress of each word is. If you see here, we have the stress. Here we have another one. Here we have other, and so. On. Okay, mark mark the stress in the sentence. Listen and check. Okay, guys, I'm going to read this short paragraph that we have right here, and you're going to say after I finish, which war or where do you consider my the stress go? Okay, Halloween is a day when children go trick or treating on Thanksgiving. The Americans eat turkey and cranberry sauce. When people have birthday, they usually get presents from friends. June is a month when many young people like God like to get married. Okay, what do you think here in Halloween might apply the, the, the stress? Where might I have here the stress in the word Halloween? Where do you think I? Halloween. Halloween. Wing. Halloween. It might apply at the beginning because the like uh, the stress is it's like a uh, uh, the the H. Remember, in some cases, sound like a uh, like a J. Halloween. Because Halloween. Yeah, that might apply probably with the Halloween. Oh, you said Astrid, you said because we have like uh the long song of, of the of the E, right? Yes. Uh wing. Halloween. Halloween. Wing or ha? Yeah. Which yeah. one? Yeah. Wing. <laughs> yeah. Ha or wing? <laughs> Which one? At the beginning or at the end? At the beginning or at the end? In the middle. <laughs> In the middle. She said the middle. She 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 quickly changed her her mind. <laughs> okay, let's let's keep it like that. it might apply right right here. Halloween. Yeah, it might apply here because the Yale is like a little bit. Uh, like a lower intonation, Halloween. I think my apply here better because like you were uh, giving the detail of the long song of the E, Halloween. Okay. It's a day when children, where do you see my go the stress right here? Chill. Chill. In chill or drain? Chill. Children. 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 In the first one, right? Mm -hmm. In the first one, children. Okay. Go trick or trading? Trading. Which one do you see? In, at the beginning? Trading. At the beginning, right? At the beginning, mm -hmm. trading. Mm -hmm. Trading. Okay. On Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanks. Thanks. 
because it, it you can hear like a a big explosion when you pronounce that word. Thank, Thanksgiving. In this case, Thanksgiving is is a it is accompanied by another noun, and that's why it is pronounced different. Because if you only have thanks, you just say thanks. But in this case, you say thank giving. Okay, thank giving. Okay, what about Americans? Americans. With in the in the beginning. America, the, America, uh, America. 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 He may apply at the beginning. Okay. He may apply at the beginning. Let's see what what we have here. Cranberry. Crown. Crown. Cranberry. Okay. Cranberry salsa. Okay. Let me see the time. Oh, oh we are. Okay. We are good on time. And what about, let's see here, when people have birthdays. What about this word? Bird. Bird. Birthdays. Bird. No verde. It's birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get confused, guys. Verde with birthdays. <laughs> it's different. Okay. Here we mentioned like like in birth. Don't worry about that. We're going to continue about working on it. Usually. You. The you. Usually. Usually, you can hear you, you. Okay. What about this one? The one we have here, present. Pre. 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 Present. Okay. Present. What about many? Many. Mm hmm. A. Me. Me. Oh, sorry, what? Me or what? <laughs> Me. Many or Me. what? Me. 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 Ni, 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 ni. Who say? Who say the first? Many. Me. Me. Ni. Yeah, he might. He might be here. Me. Okay. What about Mary? Mary. Me. Me. No, in this case, I apply like 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 the like the R song. That's okay. R Me. Uh, oh yeah, me. No, no. In this case, me. Uh, Mary. Like the R may confuse the sounds because me. Re. It's like a rur, like a like a parrot. R. Mary. Okay. If you see a. Uh, Sometimes it's like a kind of hard to identify, but uh, during the practice, you can maybe be a little bit careful and, and see that we also have some changing at the moment to pronounce certain words. Some other, uh, remember that we were talking about the components. The components are two words that get together in order to make one new, one new word. Uh, that's why some people get confused because you have a, that word separate, but now you have together with another word. That's why the stress of the song in this case changing. Okay, let's see and move to the next one. Let's see what we have here. Okay, what we have here. We have grammar focus section, guys. Oh, who's who's talking? Okay, grammar focus section. Adverbial classes of time. What we have about adverbial classes? We have the following. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we have here. Adverbial classes of time. Those are, are adverb that indicate the time. What, what can we refer about the time? We can refer about where, when, or how the action or the or the time when the sentence took place. It, here we have some example, like the first one we have here. We have 
before a Japanese couple get married, they send wedding announcements. What give what give you what give us the idea about to refer about in this case clauses of time? The keywords are going to be this one before, when, and after. We have some other, we have more. But in this case, the three of them are the most popular. What it means the most popular? Are the one that, that the people most use. Uh, like in Spanish. In Spanish, we can have a lot of words, but you only use the most common one. Uh, I give you like a, like an example for you understanding in Spanish. In Spanish, we don't uh, the majority of the time we don't call to the dog that is an animal. We don't call it sometimes uh, the the perro. The majority of the time we call it chucho. That's like the the, the most useless one. In the English, uh, in in the English we have some case this those cases that they. In this case, the book just focus on the most popular. We have more, but we focus in the book just focus on the popular because I think that that if you if you were just only this one, it's going to be like a little bit better for for you to understand the the, the structure. Okay, we have before, we have when, when they get married, they usually wear kimono. After they return from honeymoon, they move into their own home. Okay, guys, translating into Spanish, what do you, uh, what does it mean before? Antes. Yeah, antes. What about in the case of when? Cuando. Cuando. What about in the case of after? Después. Después. Okay. If you see, even in Spanish, those words gives you the idea that you are referring to a, a, a specific period of time. You That's why they are called adverbial clauses of time, because they are describing the period of time where the action took place. That's why how they are used, because that, that is the function of an author. Okay, describing. Yeah. Who is I talking? Have Silvia, ah, okay, okay, tell me. So, uh, in this case, about the adverbial clauses of time, we we also, we can use uh, just or, or right now. Oh, or just, no. J-U-S-T. Yes. Uh-huh, yes, and right now, yeah. we can uh -huh. use it, we can use it. Uh, but in this scale, they are not like a, like a, the, the the most adequate because just uh, translating to Spanish mean we mean like uh, uh, solo solo that 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 won't give you like a a, a, a specific uh, idea in order to refer it to a period of time because you you maybe might have that idea just. Uh, what I did just was an example. What I did just was an example. Lo que hice solo fue un ejemplo. Okay. Just. In this case, uh, that might give you, in, in Spanish, of course, might give you the, the, the idea that, it, that you are talking of a period of time. But in English, uh, uh, apply 100% in English. I, I don't think that won't apply in, in this case with, with, with clauses of time. But I, I think that some people get confused because translating to Spanish might refer to a period of time. But in English, eh, like uh, it doesn't hear like in that way. It, it might give another different meaning. And uh, what was the another word that you mentioned? Just in another one? Right now. Right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Okay. Right now. Mm, uh, translating to Spanish. Ahora. Uh, we have. We have a meeting right right now with or with with the manager of the company. Or right now, I have a meeting. Mm, oh, right it's now. sorry, the uh, about the grammar. Right now, it, it might might apply like a little more formal context. Right now, I have a meeting 
with my supervisor. A, ahora tengo, o en este momento, tengo una reunión con mi supervisor. That one uh, might apply here. But as I, were, as I was mentioning to you, the most popular are those ones. Before, when, and after. Uh, the, most, the most common. The, the three of them are the most common. But we have another one. Why we don't talk about all of them? Because if you talk a lot, maybe you won't understand a 100% each of them. But if you focus on the most popular, that will be better for you. Okay. Well, thank, thank you for you. thank you for sharing your 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 opinion, Silvia. Okay. Here we have what we have here. Read this information about marriage in North America. Read the information about just marrying North America. Match the clauses in column A with information in column B. Okay. Before a man and a woman get married, mm -hmm. which one might be your complement right here? Be the letter F. There's usually a wedding reception. They usually a wedding reception. Okay, yeah. Of course, you have a, a, a reception with a cake, with food, with drink, and all of that. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go into move to the second one. Before the man gets married, he has to say a lot of money. <laughs> okay, before the man gets married, which one we, we, we can choose from here? Before the man gets married, Mm -hmm. His male friends, his small friends often give him a bachelor party. A, bachelor, a bachelor party. Do you already know what is a bachelor party, right? A bachelor party. Yeah, a bachelor party. What's amazing? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see the number three. When the woman gets engaged. Mm -hmm. When the woman gets engaged, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's for the wedding and reception. I don't know. Mm -mm. No. She usually wears a white wedding dress. Engage. No. What? What do you mean engage? Promete. The you say wedding reception. Mm -hmm. When a woman gets engaged, her female friend often give her a bridal shower. Oh, yeah. The bridal shower is la despedida de soltera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 you won't, you won't tell me el, 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 el baby shower de la soltería. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 that, that won't be translated that way. The, the bridal shower is la despedida de soltero. Translated into Spanish, that would be the bridal shower. Okay. Let's go to the number, the number four. Oh, tell me. But I, uh, well... I don't know where, but I I thought the the bridal shower I know as a bachelor bachelorette party. Mm, in the case of the bachelor party, eh, eh, just apply just for me. No, 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 bachelorette. Bachelorette party. Oh, it is a synonym for, for this one. No, no, no. Bachelorette is for woman. Yeah, but in this case, uh, in this case, uh, it is like uh, the synonym, synonym, also a synonym, but take from the, from the, from the bachelor party that it is for the men. But if you apply properly in grammar or in the context, better uses, the bridal shower is for girls. In the bachelor party, it is only for men. In the bachelorette 
party, the one that you use, it is a synonym like the one that I take from the men, the bachelor party. It is a synonym. Instead of saying that is for men, they are saying that is for a woman. Hmm? That, that, that might be the case for, for bachelorette party. Mm -hmm. It is a synonym in this case. But the, the, the best apply option is this one and the proper one. This is the, co the, the correct one. The other one is like, a, like, 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 like we say in Espanol, like a, like a synonymo, sustituto, or in those other ways. But and some people understand it uh, better for this one, the bride is shower instead of bachelorette party. Uh, it is uh, kind of weird that some people use a bachelorette party instead of uh, the, the bridal shower, but it, but it is used. It is just don't worry about that. Okay, that was everything, Astrid. I don't know if you have any other. No, okay. thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh, number five, right? After the couple gets married. Mm -hmm. After the couple gets married. Mm -hmm. Hey. They newlyweds usually live in their own. That's it. What about the number six? After they return from their honeymoon. Little six, they usually they eat each other for a year or so. Yeah, you are going to keep dating with your co-worker, with your partner. You won't go out anymore with your friends, with your any of your relatives. Ah, no, nah, don't worry. You can go out with, with, with your friends. <laughs> you still you can still going out with your friends. Don't worry about that. That is depending on, on, on the cases of how you you really uh, uh, deal with your wife, with your husband. In your case, you, in the cases of the wife or the husband, you can avoid to any of them getting out with their friends. In the case of the girls, uh, the man can avoid to get the the wife going out with their friends or, or their co-workers. And that is depend of the situation each couple have or the role that maybe they have at home, right? But you can keep doing the song of the thing that you usually do when you were alone once you are married. Sorry, okay. teacher, what, what was the answer for number six? Number C, the number six, it was a letter C. They usually date each other for a year or so. That means like they still have in. But that in number six says after they return from their honeymoon, después que ellos regresan de su luna de miel. Mm -hmm. Because we already use A, we already use B. Where you use D. But pero, but then the letter C say they usually date each other for a year or so. Mm -hmm. I think in one of I them. I think we... is is number A. Yeah, sorry, the letter A. Yeah, I think uh let me see. Letter A we gave it to Oh yeah, the number five we use as a letter the the letter for the number five we use the letter A, and the number. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, might be we can change it, right? Yeah, because when they return back from their honeymoon, they new they newlyweds usually live in their own. That means they return back to the place where they are going to live. Mm -hmm. Se mueven hacia, hacia el lugar de, de donde vivirán, right? Uh, su own place. Su, yeah. su propio lugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to their own. To their own. That, to their own means their own place or the house, the, 
Oh, they're finally placed. Yeah, the number six may apply better for, for, for this one. What about the number, the number five? We said after the couple gets married. Uh, which one we decide for the number five? Which one we select for the number five? And uh, I think after the couple gets married, oh, we, we use the letter F. Hmm? Okay, this might apply better, the letter the letter A for the number six. Okay, thank you, thank you, Street. I didn't see that that little detail over there. I confused because I, I saw some of the things that the couple uh, do during the, during after the wedding, I, I, I didn't do that. <laughs> I just move a, a, a lot of things. I move a lot of things, and even I spend a lot of time at, at honeymoon. My honeymoon was like a four, no, four, two days, one, one, two. Yeah, it was like a four days, but I do, uh, but I did it here in El Salvador. I remember I start in, in the Cameroon, and after the Cameroon, I moved to El Tunco. After El Tunco, I moved to... Where did where did I go? I think I stay in San Salvador and after that I moved here to to San Miguel. But I did a lot of things. <laughs> okay, let's go to Okay, let's go to move to the to our next slide to see what we have here. Oh here we're still having some we're we're still talking about the yeah. Oh, the other exercise. Oh, after, later. Okay. How do you classmates celebrate special events? Okay, merry custom. What means merry custom? Merry custom means the outfit that the couple uses on their wedding, like the tuxedo, like the wedding dress. Some people like India, they use like some crown, some ink in their bodies. Some other, they just only use like a simple outfit. Oh, we have a lot of, a, a lot of uh, custom for marriage. And how old are people usually when they get married? Is there an engagement period? How long is it? Who pays for the wedding? Oh, who pays for the wedding? Mm -hmm. I think I think everybody pay for the wedding. <laughs> who is invited? Huh? In this in this case, just we invited or the the near one, the 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 person that are really close to to us. In this case, what happened during the ceremony? What do people, bride and groom, usually wear? Is there a reception after the ceremony? What type of food is served uh, at the reception? That depends. What kind of gift do people usually give? I prefer money instead of uh, any other thing because you, with money, you buy what you want. If, if the people give you plates, give you towels, give you like, like, like some pants and, and like, what else? Uh, air fryers. Well, air fryer is a good tool at home, right? <laughs> okay, where, yeah, it is amazing air fryer. Where do couples like to go on their honeymoon? How long is the honeymoon? Oh, we have a lot of things here. Where is like uh, disclosing everything? And in the case of the honeymoon, everybody is uh, integrated in according to elaborate, to create, or to schedule the ceremony, right? All the all the family and even the the near one of, of uh, your your best friend. In the case you have a uh, your best man, and the, those those ones are very close to you and. In my case, I have uh, my my sisters. They really help me a lot with some with something that I did in in my wedding. In the case of the uh, who pays the wedding, I think the whole family pays the wedding. And then everybody apports or, or gives 
some money uh, in the wedding. <clears throat> we somebody we already mentioned where is the wedding ceremony usually uh, usually held um, that is according to what what you want or the resources that you have you know, once you want to celebrate a wedding because if your budget it is very high you can do a lot of things because my budget was like a, I don't remember what was my budget exactly, but uh, the only thing that I remember was that I invite like uh, 200, 225 people. I invite 225 people. Yeah, it was a lot of people. And also I receive a lot of money. That, that was the good part of, of, of the wedding. <laughs> Uh, what happened during the ceremony? Everybody congrats the the bride and the groom. Uh, everybody eats. Everybody drinks, especially drinks, right? Uh, I I haven't seen any wedding without uh, alcohol drinks. I think the majority of the weddings uh, they give you alcohol, beers, all the, all, all those kind of things, and. Uh, the type of food that is served, especially here in the country, it might be beef or chicken. Those are the most popular, right? The only thing that changed is the way how those ones are prepared. That's the only thing that changed. But the most popular, chicken and beef. Those ones are the most popular during the wedding. Or some people use both, chicken and beef, in the same plate. What kind of gift do people usually give? Nowadays, people give money because it is better for the the starting couple. Yeah. Uh, where do couple like to go on, but on their honeymoon? That is according to whatever, how much you want to, to spend on it because you want to go out of the country. That means that you're going to spend a little bit more money going out of the country. And where do where do couple like to go? Oh, sorry, this one we already. How long is the honeymoon? That is according or depending on each couple. Some couple takes just one night uh, after the celebration. Some other takes two. Some other takes three, and so that is according whatever you want to do. Okay, guys. I think we're going to keep talking about weddings and custom all those kind of things. Let's see what we have right here. Oh, yeah, I remind, <laughs> we're still talking about unique custom. Look, the photo below, what do you think is happening in each picture, okay? We have one, we have two, we have three. Oh, this is like a, this might be, what do you think this image might be, guys? This image right here. Do you think it might be like a... It's a dog. Yeah, it's a dog. Like in this one, it is a priest. Uh, okay, this one. I think those are Chinese or Japanese people. Those other are Chinese or Japanese people or Korean. I don't know. <laughs> but let's see the text, what, what we have. On January, on January 17, it's St. Anthony Day in Mexico. It's the day when people ask, uh, sorry, it's like a kind of hard to hear me because here it's raining a lot. Here it's raining a lot. <clears throat> ask for protection for their animal. Oh, St. Anthony's Day. This is the first image. St. Anthony's Day. Protection for their animal. They bring their animal to church, but before the animal go into the church, the people usually dress them all in flower and rainbow. Oh, see how how cute is it? You wear uh, your 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 pets with with flower and rainbow. Let's continue with the next one. On August 16 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chuseok. I don't have an idea what is Chuseok. To give thanks to the harvest. Oh, I think it's this one. In this one. Chusok. Chusok for them is like uh, for the American people, the Thanksgiving. I think it is the same for them, but it is called Chusok. 
Oh, you see how uh, how how interesting is this fact? Is that when people honor their ancestors by giving to their grave to take their food and wine and clean their grave? Sorry, oh, the great side. Sorry. Also on Chusok, a big meal with moon shaped rice cakes is eating. Gate rice. So weird. One year, one of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is New Year's Eve. On the evening on December 31st, family get together and have a big meal at midnight. Mm, big midnight. Before uh, midnight, fireworks float everywhere and continue throughout the, the night. Friends and family meet for parties. Oh, that's nice. They party a lot which lasts until the next morning. L long ago in India, princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet to an emperor after he helped the princess. The emperor kept the bracelets as a sign of the loyalty between them. Today in India, oh, this is the, 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 the celebration. Today in India, during the festival of, of Reiki, Men promise to be loyal to their women in exchange for bracelets of silk cotton or thread. Mm, interesting fact. On the evening of February 3rd, people in Japanese family take one dry bean for each year. Oh, and their age and throw the bean around their home and try shooting good looks in evil spirit out. This is not how sensible. A time to celebrate the end of the winter and the beginning of the spring. Oh, guys, if you see, we have uh, a lot of difference between each image. What do we Salvadorian people usually do on December 31st? The majority of the people, they you usually eat like uh, 12, 12 grades before before the, the, the midnight. And some other custom that people usually do is going around with with, with a bag. That's mean prosperity for travel. Yeah, I think uh, the whole culture has different things that that according to what what they want to do. Here, customs are very different uh, with the other countries. Here we here we focus more on the traditional thing. Okay, this is what just a simple reading. That we need to move faster to the next section because we don't have too much time. Okay, maybe if I correct sentence using an item from each color. Okay, guys, we're going. What we're going to do here? If you see, we have three different colors: A, B, and C. We're going to start with the first exercise on January 17, and we can select the one that we want. That we have right here with this one and this one and make one whole center. On January 17, what we were mentioned on January 17, let's going to say it's St. Anthony's Day, right? January 17, uh, people in Mexico. People in Mexico. Hmm? What they celebrate? Oh, people in Mexico bring their animal to church. church. What about during Reiki? Reiki. Where was Raki? Raki men prayers to be loyal to their woman in exchange for the bracelets of silk. Okay. During Raki, people, where was men in India? Men in India. Men in India. Mm -hmm. Promise loyalty to their woman. Loyalty to their woman. They promise. Another thing is that they do it all the time. <laughs> that that might be different. Uh, what about on Chusok? What about on Chusok? People in Korea. People in Korea. Mm -hmm. People in Korea. Visit the graves. Visit the graves of their ancestors. Okay. What about on New Year's Eve? People in Argentina mm -hmm. celebrate the all winter. No, no. Stay up all night. I stay up all night because they celebrate a lot. They celebrate yeah. a lot. Okay. 
What about on February 3rd? People in Japan. Mm -hmm. Celebrate the end of winter. Celebrate the end of winter, okay. of course. Uh, in the case of the U.S., the 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 way in which they celebrate the winter is when if the marmot doesn't see his own shadow, that means that, that the winter uh, is going to continue. But if the marmot see his shadow, that means that the winter is completely finished. Have you heard about uh, about that 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 is like a part of the the narrative of the culture that American has. And that is something very weird and peculiar in, in the in the US. And even they 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 made some scenes to create that that performance. They 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 put the marmot and they create an artificial hole and they open the, the cage where the marmot is and the marmot goes to the tunnel and goes up and in the marble uh, do whatever the thing that I mentioned that is a calling if the winter is already finished or is it going to continue those are part of the tradition their custom but I don't know 100% if it is that that true it is that really works about with the marmots okay we already finished this I think we have I don't know what happened with this. Oh, sorry, guy. I don't know what happened with this computer. Oh no, sorry, guy. I think I, I. Oh, I get, I get out. I don't know how this, this. Okay, guys. And uh, yeah, this is everything what we're going to do. And uh, well, in the cases of the of the one that were having problems and I don't know who else added at the end of the at the uh, Saul Enrique do do you have uh, like some problem with the platform or you you didn't have some pro some problem sorry teacher I don't understand uh, has tenido problemas en la plataforma o no Eh, para realizar las tareas. Oh, yeah. Eh, por ahorita, no, teacher. Ah, okay. What about in the case of uh, Miguel Antonio? Everything is okay with you in the platform? I don't know. You, todo está no, bien. No. Eh, Miguel, eh, to, no has tenido ningún problema en la plataforma. No, todo está ah. bien hasta el momento. Ah, okay. Thank you. Claudia, Margarita, everything is uh, everything is okay for you in the platform. Claudia, Margarita, constante. Yes, ah, okay, thank you. Tricia, what what about your case? All is fine, teacher. Ah, everything is fine. Uh, Lourdes Núñez, you said that everything is okay with you in the platform, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, Gabriela, I don't know your case. You said yes, right, at the beginning of the class. Gabriela, Noemi. Yes. Ah, okay. Diana also said yes at the beginning of the class. Catherine Marielos, you are fine in the platform? Yes. Okay, Maria also said yes at the beginning of the class. Silvia, you were good at the platform, right? Yes, all good. Uh, so I have a question about the pronunciation uh, about the platform. 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 Uh, platform. It's like a pla platform. It's like a, it, you might hear like a pla. In some okay, cases, you might hear like a plat or platform. Pla. I listening that uh, use platform the most Pla platform some people yeah. use uh, yeah use uh, it is like the number remember that i was telling you to uh, the number some people say 30 some other people say 30 
But no. that is according to the most common, right? Platform, platform. Uh, I have heard some people that also use platform. And some others that I will, the one that I've been sharing, uh, some of them they use platform. And I think that is according with, with, with whatever you you want to use. But the most proper one, I think, is, is platform. Yes, because my boss my use platform always. Mm -hmm. Platform, yeah, it's the, like the, the 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 most the most useless, the, the the most proper one in these cases. But in my case, I also only have used platform. Like, uh, mm -hmm. it, it is like uh, something that the 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 get a stick on you. I have como mm -hmm. que se le, se le pega <laughs> I think it, it is due to because I have a lot of friends who, who live in the in the U.S. But they were those kind of guys that always live in the hood. And mm -hmm. they 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 used to have the, like a, that that street language, and there are some American people that they they only use formal language. But in my case, it was different because I have a lot of friends that used to live in the hood, and they only use those kind of language. I think that was the thing that differs in between the the, the two different pronunciation. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Okay, welcome. Three, you said you were right. And Dalila, you said you were right. And Idalia, you said you were right. Two, okay. The, sorry, Dalila, Idalia, Margarita. I don't know where to okay. Dalila. Okay. Yes. You, you don't have any okay. issues in the in, in the platform. What? En la plataforma no tiene ningún inconveniente. No. Ah, okay. Well, uh, send me send me a message the the one that uh that, that we're having the problems, and uh, we're going to see if tomorrow we are going to try to work on it. I don't I don't promise to you guys doing it in the morning because I don't know how we're going to be with my time to tomorrow in the morning. But uh, the thing that I really promise to you that I'm going to work in during the afternoon because I'm going to have more time. Of in in that in that free in that free time I'm going to do it. Uh, okay, guys, thank you for being here today. Thank you for your participation, and uh, also try to keep working because uh, please raise your hand. The one that already complete the section three. No, raise your hand like in this way, <laughs> or your fingers, your hand, your finger, and uh, you. You yeah, okay? You you you, uh, Saul. You're done with the section three. Terminó la sección tres. La solo me falta el examen teacher. La ah, última okay. parte. Okay, mm -hmm. that. Miguel, section three is is done. Yeah, I just finished. Okay, Elena Marisol Peralta. I, I don't know if do you hear me well. Uh yes yes yes. Okay, Olga, Olga Lizette Valdez. Todo bien, teacher. Solo me falta la... Ya hice la sección 1, 2, la 3 y el examen. Ah, okay. Guys, you have tomorrow and Friday until midnight to complete all of that. Okay? Guys, uh, this was everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being paying attention. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And if you have some question about the meter, um, make a list and tomorrow we're going to discuss that. Okay, thank you guys. Have a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care and recover all the energy that you need for tomorrow. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Okay, bye-bye guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Have a good night too. Take care. Bye-bye. See you. Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.